Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me as we learn about our friend and inspiration for this character design, the lion's mane mushroom. Before we start, I want to put a disclaimer out there that in no way should this information be used for guidelines to hunt and scavenge for your own mushrooms. Um, they make guidebooks for those and there are people who are very well versed in this kind of thing and you should always consult them if you are going to be scavenging. I'm going to read a little bit about this guy using Wikipedia. Um, here we go. I apologize in advance for my pronunciation. I'm not fantastic at that, so bear with me. I looked up how to say its, uh, its scientific name. Heracium arenaceus, also called lion's mane mushroom, monkey head mushroom, bearded tooth mushroom, bearded hedgehog mushroom, pom-pom mushroom, or bearded tooth fungus is an edible mushroom belonging to the tooth fungus group, native to North America, Europe, and Asia. It can be identified by its long spines, greater than one centimeter length, occurrence on hardwoods, and tendency to grow a single clump of dangling spines. The fruit bodies can be harvested for culinary use, there is no high quality evidence from clinical research to indicate the lion's mane mushroom has medicinal properties. And I'll just throw this in there. I do know that they do make medicines with this in it, even though it's not clinically proven. Back to, back to Wikipedia. Um, Heracium. Aranaceus can be mistaken for other species of Heracium, which grow across the same range. In the wild, these mushrooms are common during late summer and fall on hardwoods, particularly American beach. Usually, lion's mane mushroom is considered saprophytic, which, if you don't know, is obtaining nourishment from the products of organic breakdown and decay. Basically, the lion's mane mostly feeds on dead trees. However, it can also be found on living trees, so it may be a tree parasite as well. This could indicate an endophytic habitat, which basically means that it can live within the plant without showing any cause of disease to it until like way later. It is used in traditional medicine and also in food sometimes, although some guides consider it inedible. Heracium arenaceus is common in gourmet cooking. Young specimens are considered the best. Alongside shiitake and oyster mushrooms, Heracium arenaceus is used as a specialty mushroom. Its flavor may be compared to that of lobster. The production of specialty mushrooms in the USA increased by about 23% between 2010 and 2018 from 16 to 20 million pounds or 7 to 9 million kilograms. This increasing consumer interest in specialty mushrooms has encouraged the improvement of shiitake strains. Um, there's a, another article here on medicinalnewstoday.com that says that research suggests that it may offer a range of health benefits, including reduced inflammation and improved cognitive and heart health. It also says that most studies on lion's mane mushrooms have been used on animals, but it appears to be safe to eat the mushroom in moderation. Um, as people do in many countries in Asia. It also states that the safety and effectiveness of lion's mane supplements are less apparent because dietary supplements do not have the same regulations as food and drug products. People wishing to incorporate lion's mane mushroom into their diet should cook until the outer layer is crispy as the taste can be bitter otherwise. Otherwise, there's also supplements that you can take. There is not yet enough evidence to support their use for the treatment or prevention of any health condition in humans. It should be safe for most people to enjoy lion's mane mushrooms for culinary purposes 
However, people who wish to take Lion's Mane supplements should speak to a doctor first. So that's just a little bit of information about the Lion's Mane mushroom. I hope you found that interesting like I did. And I'll put a photo up there for you guys so you can see what it actually looks like. It's a very cool mushroom, I think. Uh, very interesting. A lot different than a lot of them that you see with just like the with the rounded caps and like a stem base. I don't know, let me know, uh, let me know what you think was the most interesting fact about it. And I'll make sure that I put the links to what I read down in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. Um, let me know if you guys know any more about the lion's mane mushroom. Do any of you guys scavenge or look for mushrooms? Um, I wish I could. That's not like a big possibility for me in my area. It's very rare if I even see like a mushroom in the yard. Um, just because I live in North Dakota and trees are a rarity, it feels like. So there's not like a whole lot of places that fungi who like to grow on decaying trees anyway, like to survive. Okay, so when I was doing this character design, I really wanted to show all those spines that were basically creating texture of this mushroom. And so the one way that I kind of wanted to show it off was to have this character all scrunched up in a ball and cozy. Um, like it's just kind of trying to hide in a corner or whatnot. When I do character designs, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but a lot of times I, um, I just go for it, especially if I'm using like black paper. Like on this piece, I just took a white pencil. I believe it was a color erase, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was a color erase. Um, I used the white color erase to do the outline and figure out kind of where I was going with it. And then from there I used your regular Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. I felt like I needed a little bit more color than the tannish browns, whites, and gray um, to create the spines. I felt like it needed a little bit more color so I added a bit of pink under the eyes which I think turned out really cute It kind of gives it like this little bashful kind of look and I think it turned out really cute if you guys ever want to join me in creating these creatures let me know and I can set up a list of little fungi that we can maybe monthly work on for like a character design I'd like to do it more often but with a two-year-old it uh, makes it a little bit more difficult to get things done in a timely manner. Plus, everybody has busy lives, I'm sure. A month should be long enough to put together a quick character design. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if I should do that. Also, if we do get enough people joining in, maybe I'll do a video showing everybody's work. I think that'd be really fun. So yeah. Tell me what you think we should do about that. Well, everyone, I think I'm going to leave you with some music and the rest of the time lapse. I hope you guys all have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.